Welcome back to my kombucha channel. My name is Liz and on this channel I like to talk about all things kombucha. In today's video I'm giving my honest review on a product that's called Brooch. Brooch makes condensed flavorings for the second ferment process to make your life a little bit easier. Here's my honest review. Just so you know, this is not a sponsored video. The company reached out to me a couple months ago on Reddit, where I like to put my videos out, and asked if I'd be interested in sampling their products and possibly doing a video on it, to which I replied, heck yeah, I would. I would absolutely love to do that. So I was real excited. So a little bit about the company and the product. Brooch is out of Washington State. They're a newer company. And uh, right now they just have these flavorings available for sale, but they will have teas and some other products I'll talk about at the end of the video. So here are the second flavorings. All the ingredients in these are vegan, sugar-free, gluten-free, and organic. They're highly concentrated, so they're extremely condensed. For a 16 ounce bottle of kombucha, you only need about four drops. When they first sent me these, I was pretty sure they told me online that you only need two drops. I usually end up putting four because a few extra ones uh, come out. However, on the website it says you only need 10. I think you'd be fine with four. I've been fine with even two. How it works, very simple. So here's some kombucha from this jar here that I just poured. This one is called Mana Fruit. This is a really fun one. I like this one. One, two, three, four. Then you let it sit like you would your normal second ferment, ferment, however you do that. And it'll be ready to go. So if you let yours go for one day, then it'll be ready in one day. I like mine to go about three to seven days. So that's how you use it, really simple. You don't have any fruit to cut up or anything to measure. They have 10 flavors. I'm gonna go over the flavors real quick just to give you an idea of what they offer. Lambus grass. Lambus grass, does this sound familiar to anyone? If you can tell me what movie this is from, it's also a book, book made into a movie, book series made into a movie. First person to answer, I will send you one of these. Ginger mandrake. So this is a robust ginger flavor, which gives your homebrew a spicy taste. Then we have Caledonian Cucumber, smooth and refreshing notes of wet cucumber when served chilled. I made a pretty good mayonnaise with this. It was a little on the sweet side, but it inspired me to make a poppy seed dressing with one of these. So I plan on getting that video out hopefully in the next month. Peristo, tree picked ripe pear, can be mixed with spicier flavors like ginger. Mango Magic, soft, ripe mango essence gives kombucha a warm tropical vibe. Mana Fruit blends passion fruit, pineapple, and mango. Cran apple, it's a tart, sweet notes of apple and cranberry. Miracle Potion, this is a tasteless additive that counteracts bitter and sour notes from your kombucha. Malang Spice, this flavor is earthy with hints of cinnamon. And Basilius arachis. This basil type flavor is refreshing and it goes well chilled. Basilius arachis is one of my top favorites. And so Basilius is something from a book series that was made into a very popular HBO series. Um, I might have just given it away, but if you can tell me what that's from, I will send you one of these. Or arachis is from another book series that was made into movies and I think it's one of the planets in the movie, so I might have given it all away, but the first person that tells me what this one is from, I will send you one of these. It has a strong basil taste. I love basil. So to give you an idea of what you would be getting, all of the flavors come in a 60 ml bottle, so that would be six times the size of this bottle. A 60 ml bottle has 1,200 drops, so that's 1,200 drops. For each 16 ounce bottle, you're only using four drops. So that's gonna last you a pretty long time. There's no expiration date on these either. A 60 ml bottle costs $12 and they're each sold separately. You could also get all 10 of the flavors, which is what I have here, all 10 of them for $25. They come in a 10 ml bottle. So a 10 ml bottle will give you about 200 drops. And if you're using four drops, that will make you 50 of these bottles. So each one of these will make 50 16-ounce bottles. That, to me, is pretty good. 
So if you bought the $25 one, I'm not, I'm not trying to sell you on it, just give you an idea. If you bought the $25 one, it had all the flavors, each of these bottles cost $250. I really think that's pretty good. So what's my honest review? If you can't already tell is that I absolutely love this stuff. I, I, to be honest, I was real excited when the company contacted me. While I was waiting for the flavorings to come in, I thought to myself, well, you know, it's, it's cool. I like it. I, I think it's awesome that all these companies are starting up that are helping the kombucha process and the people seem really cool and some people will love this. But for me personally, I always have fruit on the, in the house. I always have frozen fruit in the freezer for smoothies and I usually have fruit juices. Plus I have a ton of herbs out back on my deck. So would I spend money on this? Probably not. Now that has changed to absolutely I would. So here are my pros on why I love it. The first is that it is so convenient. I keep all the bottles in a plastic bag right here in my drawer. I have my kombucha station over here and then I just get out the ones I want to use, put a few drops in, put the caps back on it and I'm done. Versus going to the fridge, getting out the frozen fruit or the fresh fruit, a knife, a cutting board, washing my hands or getting out a tablespoon, pour in the juice and I usually get some on the counter, I gotta wipe it up. I know that's like some simple stuff, but it all saves time, especially when you're time crunched and you just, you just wanna get this done. These are so easy for that. The second thing is that there's so many different flavors. So not only do they have these 10 flavors, really nine because the Miracle Potion isn't exactly a flavor. And I'll talk about that one more in a second. So you have nine different flavors that you can mix and match also, so you can mix the uh, one that's basil, uh, Bacillus aracus, with any of the fruity ones, or you can even mix the fruity ones together. On top of that, so the third thing, is that you can even add additional ingredients to it. So I always use a, a, a Bacillus aracus, I think because I like to say those <laughs> two words together, but because it has a great uh, herb flavor, basil. So you could add fresh blueberries, frozen blueberries, so the point being, there's lots of different flavor options. You're not just stuck with these, these nine. The fourth thing is that it's a great value. So with each, each of these bottles, it would cost about five, four or five cents to make a 16 ounce bottle. I think that's pretty good. And the last thing is that it's not messy. And I kind of already said that, but you don't have to get all the stuff out and cut. And I like playing around with lots of different options. So I'm gonna use these and the stuff that I have in my fridge, but it's just very convenient. They don't expire, so you always have it on backup. And the cons, there really are no cons. The only thing I would say is that I didn't feel that the ginger mandrake had a very strong ginger flavor. And when I use ginger, I like to use a lot of ginger. I love ginger. That's really the only thing that I would say that wasn't, um, that was bad. And you know, that would depend on personal preference. Miracle Potion. It's a tasteless potion that counteracts the bitter and some sour notes from your kombucha. Use Miracle Potion sparingly and only if you need to mask bitterness. Miracle Potion can be used alongside other brooch flavors. So I only got to test this out once. I had a bottle of the kombucha, which was a little on the sour side. And then I had the one that used the Miracle Potion. And I did tell a difference. However, it's not gonna completely change kombucha that's totally sour, but I could tell a difference. The one that had the Miracle Potion was not as, uh, as sour, but it was tart, if that makes any sense. They are also have an upcoming product, which is a bonnet that you put over your kombucha to cover it that prevents mold from getting in, which I think is fantastic. I personally have never battled with mold, but I know a lot of people that have, and it just really kind of sucks when you open up or you go to bottle your booch and you have mold. I will leave the company's information down below. And I also want to say that they sent me some extra ones of the samples, so I'm going to do a giveaway. And I was wondering what you guys think. Should I do the giveaway here on YouTube or on Instagram? I'll leave my Instagram uh, name down below if you want to follow me there. Uh, but I think I might do it on YouTube. I just need to do a little research. But what do you guys think? Thank you for watching my video on my honest review of Brooch Second Flavorings. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out the company. I think they're really cool. And I'll see you in the next video.